On today's episode, we're answering the question, no, we're not, because I'm on the wrong damn outline. Once you've done your sales call, whether or not you get people to pay for them or they're free, now's the time where you're going to be sending out that proposal. And we call this in capital letters, the plan. It's a really big part of getting people to agree to your proposal. So we outline a very specific step-by-step plan that gives them exactly what they can do with or without us. And then we show them what it looks like for our help to implement it. And you can do this. You can say all sorts of things like, absolutely, here's your step-by-step plan to help you, you know, lose weight or to find the love of your life or to do whatever. And here's what it could look like for you. And you, you, when you're on the sales call, one of the things that you have to do is you got to take notes, right? Or record it and, or or both, which we do. And you're putting into the proposal notes from that call, sort of like, here's the plan. This is what we want you to do. If you do this, you'll see, you'll see some, some success and you give them that step-by-step, but then you show them what it looks like if you do it. So mm-hmm. you can try and do it. And if we do it, here's what that would look like for you. And it allows them to make an informed decision. This really pairs inc- incredibly well when we're charging for sales calls or if you're charging for your sales calls, they get value from it because now they've already paid for it and they get a plan to go with it. And you get to show your expertise and you prove that and that helps you close the sale. Absolutely. And so whether you are using a specific system or like maybe you're designing it in Canva or you're using a PDF that you generated in Word, I have a few sections that I think are really important to put in there. And Jenny, I think will agree with me. Oh, wholeheartedly, since I basically ripped your whole plan. (laughs) I'm just trying to get her to say that as often as possible. Look, it worked. Okay. Ripped it I, off of I me. literally she took stole her, it. Yep. And it worked. I mean, <laughs> she had no problem giving it to me. That's the great thing. I, we, I actually, here's how, it, here's the story. Here's the backstory. Okay. This is the fun part. The backstory of this. Allison sent out a proposal for a large amount to a, pers- to a prospective client. And I was like, good luck with that. She's like, no, I got this in the bag. It's good. I'm good. I pre-qualified them. I did the call. It was really, really good. And I said, okay. And she goes, I got it. And I'm like, how did you get it? She goes, I just walked them through my plan. I'm like, you're what now? She goes, my plan. She goes, here, here's the link to the proposal. I went and looked at the proposal and she had it perfectly laid out step by step by step. And as I kept reading, I honestly wanted to pay her the money (laughs) for the proposal because it was so perfect. So that's what we're going to lay out for you. Now, I know that if you're listening on audio, all right, I want you to imagine this in your mind. Um, We're going to try and describe it as best as possible. And if you're watching us on video, just imagine it in your mind as well. But I want you to imagine (laughs) opening up a document, okay, like a Canva document or, um, you know, a Word doc or something along those lines. And it's broken into steps like it's broken into paragraphs with a header Mm -hmm. and in the in the software that we're going to tell you about a little bit later it breaks it down into an outline on the left hand side which is fantastic so Allison take it away so um actually I'll tell you about the software now it's fantastic it's called better proposals and I have a link to that on the show notes page as well so you don't have to try and remember it because again Not everybody's memories are great. I know where the limits are. (laughs) Um, They have plans, different levels. I think their starter plans like 20 bucks a month. The thing that I really like about them is, and we'll talk about it um, as I go through the sections, but they have that all-inclusive process that includes payment. And so it does digital signature that that clunky back and forth. Okay. So um, my first section, when you open it up, is the introduction section. And this is... If, if it was a phone call and not a Zoom call, a lot of times I'll shoot a quick personalized video and I do this anyway with additional thoughts and ramblings. That allows them to see my face. That allows them to hear my voice, it, that, that personal touch. Plus, it, it's obvious that it's hyper-personalized and not just here. Oh, yeah, because you're recording it right after. You're, you're saying like, I record it, yeah. Oh, so it was great talking to you just now. Exactly. It's yeah. not a recording of our call. It's me in my office on camera by myself, kind of talking directly to them. 
And then I also give them a little tour through the system because it isn't something that people see every day. So I want to make sure that they know what to expect in each section. And if they haven't seen my copy or haven't experienced my marketing chops firsthand, I do also send them a link to some samples that I've put together for them. And those samples are amazing. Well, thank you. Then I dive right into the plan, which in my head is said in Julia Stiles' voice from 10 Things I Hate About You <laughs> with quote fingers because she goes, the plan, and that's what's in my head every time I type it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little little things that keep me going. But that, like we said, it's broken down into sections. It's complete step-by-step easy for them to understand. I've done maybe a little research for them. So if, for instance, they're talking about direct mail and they want to have a, a lumpy, you know, a stress ball, I might go and give them some ideas or something like that. Like it's not necessarily just notes, it's additional stuff too that gives them additional value beyond what they got on the call with me. Then the next section is the client requirements. This is really essential to setting boundaries. <laughs> and that yeah. is something that we talked about with scope creep, but boundaries, expectations are really important to set. And when you can stand and say, this is what's required in order to have a successful working relationship together, then your client is going to automatically respect you and see you as more professional or the expert. This part alone <laughs> has been a game changer for me yeah. because I am one of those people that has constantly said, sure, no problem. Yes, no problem. Gone into martyr state where it's like everybody, mm -hmm. you know, feel it. I, I call it my Cinderella state. Jenny Rella. Yep. Yeah. Jenny Rella where everybody's just like, Hey, before you can do anything for yourself, you got to do my stuff. And I never get to the ball. Um, and that's because I wasn't using client requirements. I wasn't saying, look, for us to have a successful relationship, da, 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 da. Yep. And Wow. Using that one particular step has been a massive improvement to my own well-being uh, <laughs> where I don't feel like people are constantly treading and stepping over the line. Absolutely. And another thing that it does is it gives the client a to-do list. Yes. Right. If we want to start work, these are the things that I'm going to need from you. And it can be super. I have some templated stuff in there and that's just normal, but I edit it as required. And one of the things that I require is a questionnaire, which is um, a Google document. I can link to it right from my, my better proposals. And it, it's tailored to them. It's theirs. They type in their answers. They have their to-do list. Yep. After that is now the timeline and investment. So the one thing about better proposals, especially if it's on mobile, is you don't necessarily have that side navigation. You just have arrows at the bottom. And so they've gone through all of these pages in order to get to the investment. There's, look, There's no hamburger to yeah. be able to flip through. They have to go it step by step, which I like. And we've all done it where we're like, hey, that thing looks really cool. How much is it? We don't read it. We just look. We see we make a snap decision. And what we want to do, if we haven't already pitched them on the phone, which is a decision you can make. Sometimes I do give them a price on the phone, but sometimes if it's a complicated project or it's big or I need other elements, I do some figuring. And so they don't get a price from me. I give them a ballpark. But the timeline and investment, I give them the deadline or the timeline first. So they see exactly when they can expect it. Then I move into the investment section. I don't want them to have to scroll forever. I tell them, I break it down. Here's what you're going to get. Here much, here's how much that's going to cost you. And I, I give them my rack rates for that, my, my regular rates. And then if they're going to do a package, so if it's a whole thing, then I'll actually break out and put in the, dis, the package discount. So they can see what they're saving if they buy it all now. That's a really cool little trick because people like to save money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and so I can get a bigger project up front. Absolutely. And, and then after that, we're still on the timeline and investment page. I tell them everything they're going to get, all the research I do, the fact that they get full copyright, that I'm going to help them with implementation or interface with their implementation team behind the scenes, that I'm going to review in depth their marketing materials. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like it's, 
I really flesh it out. So it's like, oh, I'm not just getting copy because when you're a copywriter, there's more than just copy. There's research and time and knowledge and all of that stuff. Whew, we're almost done. Then <laughs> I have the terms and conditions page. And because we can actually sign and pay through the system, this becomes a contract once it's signed. So this is all the legalese. Yep. And I'm, you know, you should have your own legalese. You, you know, don't use mine. <laughs> and then the next, the next steps page, this is where they sign and are taken to the payment portal. So I realized saying that, that this sounds like a better proposals advertisement. <laughs> I know, I know. And that's not are, what we're trying to do. But. No, there are other proposal software options out there if you go the software route. But you can, this is what I used to do in a PDF too. Yeah, it's just, the process. It's the step-by-step. It's, step. it's process. Yeah. I'm walking them through it. I'm not just saying, hey, to get your copy written, it's going to be $5,000. Yeah. Because that's not going to sell anything. It's, no. I'm going to deliver the copy to you on August X, and it's going to include this, 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 and this. Um, the investment is, you know, here's the plan that we talked about, and here's what the investment is. Like, yep. I'm building up the value before I hit them with that dollar figure. Yep. Yeah. And you, and it's very, very clear. So, and it seems like a lot of stuff, like a steps to do, but the prob the, the thing is, is that if you go with these steps, if you follow these steps and you do the, the plan, the client requirements, the timeline and investment, the terms and conditions and the next steps, if you just do those five things, actually it's six, cause there's an introduction. Yeah. Um, five if you five. do those five or six things, you're going to improve your closing rate just by default on saying, wow, this is really organized. It has everything that mm -hmm. I want as a potential, you know, as a impressive. potential client. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's impressive. They've put time and effort into this. I feel like they understand me. Um, you know, they've done the research. One of the lines that we both use in our proposals is we say the work starts right now. Like it begins now, like, you know, as soon as the as soon as the contract is signed and the deposit is paid, somebody like Allison and I, me doing funnels and implementation as well as strategy, and Allison doing copywriting and you know strategy and a bunch of other mm -hmm. things, the work begins as soon as we get a signed contract. We're already starting to you know flesh out ideas and things like that, so that when we get on a call with our new client, we're able to start helping them right away. 